So welcome, thanks for joining me. If you're lying down, you can stay lying down if you're really comfortable, or you can come to a seat. Now, if you honestly, if you've just laying down today or in an evening practice, so if you've just laid down and been like, ah, oh, then you don't have to get up. Um, but if you're just kind of coming onto your mat, maybe come to sit. Just gonna ah, yeah, she's here. Brilliant. Okay, welcome, welcome to class. So we'll just take a moment to bring maybe one hand onto your chest, one hand onto your tummy. And when we're practicing in this way, online, in a live class, or in a recorded video, essentially it's a self-practice, because you're in your own space. You made a conscious decision just to take a bit of time out for yourself. So as you feel your hands move as you breathe, See if you can relax all across the forehead, the eyes, the jaw. And feel the throat and the chest relax. And then just start to notice that wave of your breath. And then even though we are in a form of self-practice, Obviously, I'm going to guide you through the flow. But we can still make that connection today to your heart, your heart beating, the rise and fall of your breathing. And then that connection to the ground, the parts of the body that are on the ground. And in the evening practice, it's quite nice to just release, to let, let the weight be given down to the ground. And we also make that connection to each other. So even though we might be on our own, we're going to be moving, breathing, and going through the practice together. So we make that connection to our collective energy. The theme of our practice this evening, I've been working with this week, very common in yoga, very familiar idea of letting go, releasing. And especially at the moment, there are so many things that we are having to let go of. Expectation, events, and that can be really challenging. So as always, we're on our yoga mat to explore ways that we can start to process physical awareness, a sense of release, and relax, and how that then maybe allows us to move away from craving, holding and coveting in our daily lives. So if you're sitting, come to lie down. And bring yourself just comfortably onto your back and once you're lying on your back bring your feet under your knees and have your hands now just gently up and out to the side so you might have your elbows bent and your wrists and palms of the hands are soft and relaxed and then just take your feet to the edges of the mat let the knees knock into the middle give yourself a moment here to feel your lower back and the soles of your feet on the ground. And then really slowly, just push gently with your right foot and let your knees roll to the left. And then lift your left leg up and let your hips roll back to the center. Push very gently with that left foot and let the knees roll to the right. And continue to do this movement maybe a couple of times just to see how it feels. Uh, you might have 
had a relaxing day, so a little bit of energising movement at the beginning of our practice. Or you might be quite tired today. And whatever kind of day you've had, that will be somewhere mapped on your body. So as always, I'll be giving you choices to take the energy down a level, feel a bit slower, or build it up and be a bit stronger and a bit more dynamic. And choice is always yours. So now lift your hands into the air. Have your feet now underneath your knees and just make a kind of fist with your hand and then like all the muscles in your arms kind of start to tense. And then breathe in, really deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let the hands go and let the legs relax. And then bend your knees, lift your feet into the air. And we're going to do a similar thing with the legs. So just have a look at your toes, circle the ankles. And then have a little bend and straighten of the knees. And then we're going to do the same thing, hands and feet. So press up as if your hands and feet are in the sky or on the ceiling. And really energise. So press through your heels now. Start to feel your thigh muscles really switch on. Keep your shoulders relaxed, but press up through your hands. So you feel spreading the fingers, all the muscles in the arms, the shoulders and the legs are really active. And then breathe in, really deep breath and hold. And then exhale, let the legs and arms go soft. So do that another couple of times. Use as much energy as you like. Press through the hands, press through the feet. And then exhale, let go. And we do that again. Press through the hands, through the feet. Exhale. And then now just hold on to your knees with your hands and lightly let the legs relax and roll from side to side. So last week I was mildly obsessed with the shoulders, getting the breathing really nice and full. And today, this evening's practice is going to be more about the hips, so more about the way that we hold on to tension around the hips and then how we can kind of let that go. So as we rock and roll up to sit, maybe see if you can flex your feet, hold the back of your knees and roll using a little bit of strength in your lower belly and forward and backwards. And then as you're ready, come all the way up. Just cross your legs for a moment, bring the soles of the feet out towards the edges of your mat and then just walk your hands forward. So feel around the sides of your thighs here, just soften. So not holding on, going to that place where you just feel it and then let it go. Let that be enough. And then see how that breath moves across the back of the body. Now we're going to tuck the feet in a little bit closer and roll over onto the hands and the knees. And we're just going to take the hands a little bit further forward of the shoulders, just come from the fingertips down the hands and down onto the palms and then bend one elbow and bend the other and just see how that feels and then come forward and just lift tuck your toes under and lift your knees just off the ground so just see how strong do you feel this evening does this feel sustainable can you start to lift up through your lower belly or do you just want to drop back down and rest back into child's pose so keeping the toes tucked, lift the belly up, and then we're gonna move the toes in a little bit and the knees out and then push back. So you're in kind of like a little frog position and just gently go from side to side. Again, relax your neck and just feel that whole area around the sides of the body and then also the lower back, just a sense of releasing there. And then you're gonna spring forward, kind of passing through a downward dog type shake and then coming into plank position. So again, evening practice, we're gonna do a little bit of flow, then we're gonna slow things down. If you wanna make it really energizing, feel free. So see if you can just lift one hand off the ground, place it back down and then lift the other hand. And you can do this on your knees, yeah? Go with where the body naturally wants to be today. And just checking in from side to side, how much energy and effort do you have in your arms today? And then come back onto the hands and knees, maybe take the hands a little bit wider than the shoulders, knees a bit wider than the hips, and then circle the hips around. So 
move again slowly maybe close your eyes and see if you can just unwind from your day so you, there might be a spot where you've been i don't know gardening or maybe maybe you sat still for a few hours so as you let the spine undulate draw forward and backward traction the shoulders circle the tailbone and just let the body kind of find a sense of ease, a sense of releasing. And then start to walk your hands back in underneath your shoulders. And take your left leg back, press through the heel, kind of press the ball of the foot to bring your body forward slightly and then draw back. So you're starting to use your legs to push you forward. And then bring that left leg down Take the right leg back. So press through the heel, kind of draw back and then push the body ever so slightly forward. So again, just seeing how the legs feel today. And then we're gonna come into our plank position. So both legs now, you can come up onto the fingertips for a moment if you feel that your wrists are tender, bend the elbows. And then take both legs back and be in a plank position, take the chest forward, push back through the heels. So again, shift one hand off the ground and back down again. Check back in with the breath. If you're holding, let the breath flow. Take a big breath in and then as you exhale, slowly bring the knees down. Untuck the toes, gently lower all the way down. And when you get there, rest your head on your hands, relax everything. <sighs> now we're just gonna do a little bit of lateral movement to wake up the left and the right side. So reach your arms forward, get your legs as long on your mat as you can. So stretching out your tummy. Turn your palms so they're facing each other. Point your toes, bring your legs in line with your hips and maybe rest your forehead back down on the ground. And then energize and lift up your right leg and your left arm. So you don't have to lift very high. Challenge here is can you relax the opposite arm and leg. It's quite difficult. <laughs> Give it a go. So stretch and reach as long as you can. Maybe lift a little bit higher and then slowly lower down. Relax for a breath. Feel again that breath across the back of the body. And then come to the other side. So lift up, opposite arm and leg. Energize, point the toes, reach the fingers, maybe even lift the thigh and the shoulder off the ground. Can you keep the leg and arm that's on the ground relaxed? Not easy. And then come back down. <laughs> We're gonna do that a couple more times on each side. So lift up one side, keep the other side soft. Lower back down, lift up the other side, keep the other side relaxed. And then lower back down. So bring the hands now either side of the ribs. Push one hand and then the other. Let yourself roll across your forehead. And then again, cobra today might be about that kind of unwinding feeling in the shoulders. You might roll one shoulder and then the other, or you might want to make it a little bit stronger. So take your hands a bit further forward of your shoulders, bring your legs a bit closer together and press your feet down. Energize the legs, take a big breath in, lift up through the pelvic floor and then start to propel your body forward. And then perhaps just lift your hands just off the ground so you've got very light touch and then lower back down. Now you can move your hands a little bit further back and then push the heels of the palms forward to feel your shoulder blades back and lift up. So if there's too much pressure on your lower back, come down a bit. If it feels okay, we'll roll up and then down another couple of times. So you might wanna roll your shoulders as you breathe, lifting the chin up last, and then exhale, spine is a little bit longer as you come down. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back down. You can rest here or do one more. See how you get on, breathing in. And then ease up and back and come back either into child's pose or if you feel like it, come straight up into downward dog. From your downward dog, whenever you're ready, we're gonna to start to come through a little bit of a flow for the hips. So when you're in downward dog, take your feet a little bit wider 
And then just bend your knees again, lift your hips up and back, relax your head down and breathe. And then start to walk your hands back towards your feet. So you come into the back of the mat, turn the toes out and bring the heels in and then sink down. So you might not come all the way down into a squat position, you might have your elbows on the thighs, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. If you're all the way down there, take your hands forward and just let your chin draw down. And then ease the weight back into your heels. And we're going to take a little movement here. So you're either palms to the centre of the chest, or if this is really not great for your ankles, come up halfway. Yeah. And we're going to inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, just let the head bow down, let the rounding of the upper back. Inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, round down. We'll do that one more time. Inhaling to lift the chest. Exhale, come down. Take your hands down towards the ground. Lift your hips up. Turn your feet in parallel, and then walk your hands up the front of your legs. Take a breath there when you get to halfway. And then as you exhale, take the hands from the sitting bones down the backs of your legs. Bend your knees. Maybe give your calves a little squeeze. And then we're going to roll up slowly. So as you inhale, send the weight down through the heels, stack the spine gently. If you feel dizzy, stay still. If you feel okay, keep lifting up, breathe, big stretch. And then exhale, take the hands down. So shifting the weight from foot to foot. And we're going to come through a little flow again. You might find when you get down onto the belly that you're like, oh, that's it, thank you, I'll just stay there. Or we're gonna build in intensity just for a few minutes, just to kind of get, get the blood flowing. So turn the toes out, we're gonna come back into that sort of half squat position, taking care of the knees, or all the way down, and let your knees decide. Take the arms out in a circle as you rise up, breathe in. And then as you exhale, come down, hands come down past the center of the forehead to the center of the chest. As you breathe in, lift the heart up, and then as you exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, round, do that once more. Inhale, drop, lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. So let your hips lift up, turn the feet parallel, come to that halfway lift again. And then this time start to walk your hands forward maybe bend your elbows and your knees as you come through downward dog and into a plank position and you're going to see whether you want to stay in plank push back to dog posture or come through the vinyasa inhaling exhaling down when you get on the ground energize the legs and the core and roll into gentle cobra and then exhale roll back so from downward facing dog, just going to let one leg lift. Maybe bend your knee and take that knee out to the side as you lift the leg up. And then slowly lower it back down. Do the other side, bend the knee, lift the leg up, breathe in. And then slowly lower back down. So walking the hands back towards the feet, take the feet out, turn the toes out, bring the heels in. Inhale when you get there and exhale, bend your knees just as far down as you want to go. We're going to take the weight back into the heels now, strong thighs. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll do that again a little bit faster. So breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathe out, come down. Either elbows on thighs or all the way down into your squat. You choose. Lift the tail, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the belly, round the spine. Inhale, lift the tail, lift the heart. Exhale, round the spine. So third time, stay with breath. Inhale and exhale. Drop the hands down, feet parallel. Breathe in again, that gentle halfway lift. And then as you exhale, fold. So breathe in, come forward into a plank position, a little bit quicker. And then as you exhale, either knees or straight legs down. Inhale into Cobra or maybe Upward Dog if it's there. And then exhale, bend the knees, roll back into Downward Dog. Start with the other leg, bend the knee, let it lift out to the side as you breathe in. Slowly lower down as you breathe out. Other side, bend the knee, lift the leg up. Exhale down. 
Walk the hands back towards the feet. Toes out, heels in, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, come down. Inhale, take the arms out, rise and lift. Exhale, hands to the heart. Third time, a little bit quicker. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. Take one breath here. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, hands to the ground. Walk the hands forward now as you inhale, nice long plank position, and then hover the body down as you exhale. When you get there, draw the hands and the feet down and roll your shoulders to cobra or up face. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. So from here, we're going to walk the, the feet this time up towards the hands. You can jump if you're feeling energetic or just walk your hands up. Take your hands a little bit closer. Bring your feet either side of your hands and then come to sink down. And again, you might be in that half squat or you might be all the way down. So a uh, twist here, take the right hand down, just lift your left arm up. And then as you exhale, come back to the centre. Inhale, lift the right arm up. We'll do that twice more. Exhale to centre. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, centre. Inhale, right arm lifts. So once more on each side. Just go round, maybe a little bit further on the third time. Inhale, round. Exhale, down. And then take your hands down. So lean the weight into the hands, let the head drop, lift the hips up slowly and then walk your feet back in a little bit. Halfway lift on the breath, bend the knees and fold down. Roll up or take the arms out dynamically, however you choose. Exhale, hands back down to the heart. Slow, deep breath. And exhale, let go. So just going to come into a slightly different flow so a little bit more activation of left and right and again you can have the option now you kind of know a little bit how your body's feeling whether you want to fire this up and make it a bit stronger or whether you just want to release <laughs> so we hold a lot of energy uh, stuck energy in the hips so as you take your feet out just shift the weight gently from side to side and just see how do your hips feel now you're a little bit warmer now we're going to start to take the movement into a few lunge positions. Bring your feet back together. Drop down into Utkatasana, so draw the hips back. Keep your knees over your ankles and just let your arms swing a little bit. So we get a little bit of movement, a little bit of power. You can be gentle or you can kind of start to make big dynamic swings with the arms. And breathing in, breathing out. Just breathing in. Breathing out, three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, exhale. Now stay in your forward bend, move your feet apart if you like, take a halfway lift if you want to, and then this time exhale, bend your knees and maybe catch hold of your big toes. So breathe in, lift up halfway, and then exhale again, fold. And you can keep your legs straight or you can keep a little bend in the knees if that feels nicer for your back. And then maybe shift the weight from foot to foot. So we're often a little bit more flexible in the evening. So we're gonna check in with the hips. Release the feet when you're ready, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, take your left foot back. So first round, we're just going to bring that knee down and then as you inhale, come up, bring your hands to your hips, wiggle the right foot forward and then just keep an eye on this low back sensation so it doesn't feel pinchy and then lean the weight forward, so dropping the hips down, draw back and then come forward again and just going as far as you feel to, it might just be a really small movement. And we're going to add a little bit, bit of movement with the hands, make it a bit more dynamic. So inhale, lift your arms up. And then as you exhale, take your hands to the inside of the right foot as you draw the hips back. Maybe the right toes lift. Breathe in, come forward, sink the hips down, lift the arms up. And then exhale, take the hands down, draw the hips back. Do that a few more times. Inhale, lift. 
exhale, draw back. Inhale to lift. Exhale, draw back. Okay, so last time, slightly different. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. And then just move that right foot out to the side. So keep it in line with the knee. And then just check in. Do you want to walk your hands forward, sink your hips down here, rest the chest? Or do you want to fire it up, lifting that left leg, extending back through the heel? So take a breath here. See how it feels in that right hip. And again, if you've got your left leg lifted, it's that balance of firing up the left leg, releasing through the right hip. Now bring your hands under your shoulders and take your right foot back. So lift into the air, three-legged dog, and then choose your flow. Inhale, come forward. You can rest on your knees or hover through Chaturanga towards the ground. When you get there, roll your shoulders into Cobra. And then as you exhale, draw back, child's pose or downward dog. I'm going to do a slightly more energising transition. So lift the left leg as you breathe in. Again, bend the knees. See how that feels. Slowly lower it back down. Now, if you feel tired, bring your left knee to the ground. Otherwise, stay in downward dog. Lift your right leg up with the left heel. And then exhale round the spine, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the leg back up. Exhale, come forward, round knee to nose. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale round. This time we're going to step the foot forward as you breathe out. Lift the back leg, take it to meet the front foot, come to a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, swing your arms up into Utkatasana, and then exhale, take the hands out. Give yourself a breath here. Inhale and exhale. So soften through the knees, give the arms a swing. We'll do that on the other side. Take the arms all the way up as you breathe in, and then down as you breathe out. This time, if you like, you can lift your arms up behind you. You can interlace your fingers if that feels like a nice release for your shoulders. Just give yourself a moment to breathe here. And then slowly, slowly let the hands drop down. So lazy halfway lift. This time, right foot steps back. You get space there, and then gently bring the knee down. And take the arms up, bring the hands to your hips. And then the same thing, so the left foot maybe comes out a little bit, but you're going to keep an eye on this low back sensation. If it feels better to keep everything drawn in a little bit, stay there. And then gently ease the hip forward, and then draw back. So coming forward, let the hips drop. Exhale back. Maybe a couple more times, just see how it feels. And then come back. It might feel like your hips are kind of twisting to one side. As long as there's no pinching sensation in that low back. And then come back again. So now we're going to add the arms. Inhale, let the hips drop. Lift your arms up. And then as you exhale, hands come to the inside of the foot. Maybe let the spine round. Left leg gently draws back. Inhale, come forward. Lift your arms. Exhale. Exhale, hands to the inside of the foot, draw back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, let something go. And then come forward again. So the left foot might turn out slightly. Option one, have your hands down and just soften your elbows. Let the day go. Option two, fire up the left leg. And then find that balance, that yin and yang between energy through the right leg, strong thigh, but let your left hip maybe relax. So can you do both things simultaneously? Can you hold on and let go? And then your hands are underneath your shoulders. Take this left leg out and into the air, three-legged dog, and then exhale, lower it to the ground. So come through your flow, which might be a rest on your knees in child's pose. Or you might inhale, slide to Dandasana, plank position, push up almost to the ground, and then roll over your toes, lift up, exhale, roll back. Big breath in, slow breath out. And then the dynamic transition. So you can do this with the right leg on the ground, or you can stay in downward dog and lift your left leg up behind you. 
So breathe in to lift and then exhale round the spine, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. This time we're going to step through. So breathe in. Exhale, step the foot up. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Soften the knees, swing the arms forward, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. So slowly as you're ready, I'm going to do a little backwards walking meditation. So just keep your eyes gazing to the ground in front of you. Lean the weight into one foot and bring the foot back and start to walk backwards. So shifting the weight, keep all of your focus if you can, just on the sensations in your feet. Take little steps and pause with both feet on the ground before you transfer the weight and lift the other foot up. Again, if your mind wanders, bring it back to the sensation of your feet on the ground. Good. Bring it all the way to the back of the mat and then just stand for a moment. Maybe lift up your toes, put them back down again and see how your feet feel. And then we'll come through uh, last little kind of fast flow bit, then we'll slow things down a bit. So take the toes out and the heels in. And you know when we have tightness in the hips, the hips won't move because the ball and socket joint, but the knees will. So you've got to be really mindful if you do know that you have tight hips, not to kind of force into the knees. So the half squat is much better than hurting the knees. So make a big circle with your arms. Inhale, bring them up. Take them down to the centre line, halfway or all the way down. Bring the right hand down for the twist. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, left arm comes down. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, down. Lift the hips up. Turn the feet parallel. Walk forward to high plank here. And then exhale, hover the body just off the ground. Inhale, roll over your toes and lift. Exhale, roll back, downward facing dog. So lift the right leg up, breathe in. Round the spine, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Third time we step through, breathe in. Step through as you exhale. Inhale, take the arms up, drop the hips forward. Exhale, see if you can straighten that right leg as you draw your arms back. Inhale, bend the knees, lift up. Exhale, straighten the legs, to hit the hands draw back. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift up, take the hands to the inside of the foot and then lift this right leg up into three-legged dog. Come forward for your flow, breathe all the way through. Hover down to the ground. Inhale into your back bend, it can be subtle. Exhale, roll back, downward facing dog left side and then we'll have a break inhale lift up exhale round knee to nose inhale lift up exhale knee to nose third time we step inhale exhale step through breathe in soften the back knee drop the hips lift your arms exhale straighten the legs take the arms back twice more inhale from the ground rise exhale draw back once more, inhale, lift, exhale down. So breathe in, lift up, take the hands to the inside of your left foot and then bend that left knee, see if you can take it round and up into the air and then slowly lower it. Come through your flow, push off the feet to drive forward. Exhale, hover knees or straight legs. Inhale, roll your shoulders, lift the heart. Exhale, roll back. So either rest in child's pose, or we can do our last little dynamic transition. From downward dog, take your hands a little bit closer together. Bend your knees out to the side. Tell yourself you can, and then jump to the top of the mat. <laughs> Coming into that squat position. Last little twist, right hand down, left arm lift. Exhale down, and left hand down, right arm lift. Exhale. So take the weight back into the heels, make a big circle with your arms, inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. 
So we want to inhale, lift the arms up, and then this time fold forwards as you breathe out. Lazy halfway lift. You can take one foot behind the other and come to lie down onto your back. So feet can be on the ground, hands can rest on the body, or if you feel like it, you can take your arms and legs out to the side. So check back in with your heart beating. Check back in with the ground underneath you. Are you feeling connection to the earth, to the breath? And we're just going to do a little core awareness here. So choices, as always, especially, I think we're all goddesses. In today's class, you can take the soles of the feet together, hands can rest on the belly. And if you're kind of near your moon cycle, you might just want to stay here rather than doing the core work. Yeah, you can just let your lower back kind of scoop under and just rest down. If you want to do the core exercise, we're going to do two. And the first one is just to lift the feet off the ground. Heels might come apart. And then lift the head and shoulders and just cradle the head back in the hands. And we're just going to take it in turns to move the feet. So move the left knee in and straighten the leg out. And then bend the knee and bring the soles of the feet back together. So bring the right knee in and then straighten the leg out. Go slow so you can feel everything. Bend the knee, take the balls of the feet back together. We do that again. You can also do this with your head on the ground if you want to. So just check in that you're not using your jaw, you're just using your legs and your lower belly is pressing onto the ground. Back of the neck is nice and long. And then slowly lower the head back down. Give yourself a little hug, either squeeze in or just take the knees apart and let the body rest. And the third one we're gonna, second one we're gonna do, sorry, is just to roll a right leg over the left. So do a lot of external hip rotation. We also do internal hip rotation just to make sure that we balance it out. So you can hook the foot around if you feel warm enough. If that doesn't work for you, don't worry about it. Just have the thighs together. And then again, reach your arms out and wrap your right arm underneath your left so you help your shoulders. Choices here just to stay here, give yourself a squeeze, or you can lift up, bring the elbows to the knees, and then lower back down to the ground. Bring the elbows to the knees, and lower back down. Elbows to knees, draw in. Exhale, lower. Maybe do that once or twice more. If you're going full eagle with the arms and the legs, go for it. And then when you come back down, whenever you're finished, unravel arms and legs, make a big starfish on the ground. Take a really big breath in and hold at the top. And then exhale, let it go. Let's wrap the left leg over the right. And again, hook the foot if you want to, or just don't. Like if it goes around easily, go for it. If it hurts the knee, don't worry about it. Take the left arm under. Maybe give yourself a little hold, a little squeeze. And then lift the legs off the ground, wrap one leg around the other. And then as you're ready, lift the head and shoulders, bring the knees to the elbows, and then lower back down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Three more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Relax your neck. And then slowly unravel, take the arms out. I might have skipped one. <laughs> Stretch along the ground, breathe in and hold. And then exhale. Bring the feet back onto the ground. So energizing to come up. Before we do that, we're just going to make a shape of what we're doing standing. So bring the right leg in and then cross the leg so the ankle is on the front of the left thigh and then you're going to kind of hold the sole of the foot in line with the thigh if you can press down through the left heel and lift your arms up so press through 
the foot, lift the arms and work the right leg away from you, yeah? So your body's got that shape. Take a big breath here, lift the chest, press the lower belly into the ground and then lower back down. Arms by your sides, roll the shoulder blades together underneath you, press the left foot and lift the hips just off the ground. Keep your right toes flexed, keep your neck relaxed. And then slowly lower back down. Right leg rolls over the left, come to a twist. Right arm can come up past your ear or out to the side. Breathe slowly and deeply. And then roll back to the centre. Do the same thing on the other side. So left leg comes in, ankle crosses onto the thigh. Right foot presses into the ground and then lift the head and shoulders up. So you can rest your head in your hands here if you like. The main focus is in the legs and the feet and that kind of core awareness. So let the left knee roll away from you and then breathe. Right foot is pressing down. Slowly lower down, arms by your side. Draw the shoulder blades underneath you so your chest is lifted and then press your right heel, zip up the pelvic floor as you lift your hips into the air. You don't have to lift very high. Notice what muscles in your legs you're using here. And then slowly lower back down. Take the left leg over the right, come to twist, maybe roll onto your right side, left arm can come up past your ear. <sighs> left elbow out to the side, relax. And then roll back onto your back. So you might just come to rest here, let everything relax. We can do our next little standing bit. So hug the knees in. This time take the feet apart. I'm going to see if we can rock and roll up to that squat position. So first thing is to tell yourself that you can. And then take your hands forward and roll using momentum from your centre. Yeah, so drawing that lower belly in and up and then getting the feet onto the ground. That's the first step. And then do that a couple more times with a bit more momentum. Look forward and you'll go forward and reach your arms and then come into squat position. If you don't make it, don't worry. I think one of those things we might wobble around before we get. So just shift the weight from side to side. We've probably managed to kind of loosen a little bit more and warm up now in the hips. We're going to come through a little flow to kind of explore that area a little bit more. So either roll up or take the weight back into the heels and really use your thighs to press down and lift up. And then take the hands down to the heart. So coming into a balance, have your feet apart and then just shift the weight into your right foot and lift your left leg up. Flex the foot, bring the ankle onto the right thigh, take your arms forward and sit your hips down. Keep the left foot flexed, relax around that left hip. Breathe. If you feel wobbly, you can keep your hands on the shin. If you have in your practice that twist, you could take the hands to the heart and bring the left elbow to the inside edge of that left foot. Give that a go if you want to. It's supposed to wobble. And then take a breath wherever you are. And then slowly come up. Release the leg. Take the foot out, coming through like a half moon type thing. And then step the foot back. <laughs> kind of come through warrior two, take the right arm up and over your head and then exhale, take the elbow to the thigh, swing the other arm around. Roll back up to the centre and turn the toes in, hands to the hips. Left toes turn out, right toes in. Inhale, expand the arms. Exhale, bend the knees. Just passing through, left arm comes up and over. Exhale, round, elbow to thigh, back hand around, breathing in. And then lift back up. So turn the toes in. We're going to come into forward bend here. So bring yourself 
to where your feet feel comfortable, soften the knees, roll your shoulders back. You can interlace your hands at your back if you want to, and then bend the knees to come forward. And as slowly as you like, your fingertips might come down towards the ground. And if you're in the bind, just see if you can soften around your shoulders so there's no forcing. And then carefully let your hands come down to the ground. So we're going to come turn the feet out a little bit, bring the heels in. And then just walk the hands over to one side and let your hips come down. Maybe the toe of the right foot and the heel of the left foot lift. So we're just again feeling our way and then come over to the other side go slow bend the right knee the right heel maybe lift extend through that left leg do that a couple more times roll from one side and you can make it quite strong if you feel like you want to take your hands off the ground or just let it be really lazy let it be like a kind of unwinding And the body likes three, so the third time you do something, maybe slow it right down just to see how does it feel. And whenever you're ready, come slowly back to the centre, turn your feet parallel or toes turned in a tiny bit, walk the hands forward and then exhale, let something go. Come to roll up as slow as you like. Keep your eyes half closed, maybe bring your head up last. Lift your arms up. Exhale down. So we're going to switch our attention to the left foot. And we're going to come through that optional kind of half moon. So keep the body open, almost like you're going to do triangle pose. And then lean the weight into that left foot and just lift the right leg up. And we will wobble <laughs> and then go from there slowly wobble around <laughs> take the right foot forward and then bring the knee up towards the chest flex the foot bend the left knee take the ankle on the front of the left thigh and then hold the shin as you shift your weight back keep the right foot flexed to protect that ankle and then if you feel powerful and strong take your arms forward Keep breathing. And then as you're ready, slowly come out. Unravel. Maybe come back through that half moon. Take the feet out. Well done, everyone. So turn the toes in. Come into another forward bend. Roll your shoulders or bind your hands. Soft your knee, soften your knees. Breathe in. Exhale, fold down. Hands come to the ground. Let something go. We're going to walk the hands around towards the right foot and then gently bring the knee down. We're coming towards our back bend. Practice today, which might just be rolling your hands behind you and interlacing your fingers. So just lifting the chest, sometimes this is enough. And we let the hips come forward. If you want to do a deeper back bend, you might lift your arms up and open the arms out. You can rest your head in your hands or you can lift up slightly exhale come a bit further back as you breathe out stay with that pulse of the breath so the body always kind of knows where you're going and then take your hands down slowly to the inside of that right foot we're going to shift the left foot back and then bring the right foot across to the left side of the mat and then come down onto that right hip so you might be familiar here with pigeon pose, come straight into it, or you might take that left knee in a, in a little bit to make it a more, bit more comfortable. And then feel free to use cushions underneath you if it's, if it's easier for you to kind of twist and then start, start to walk your hands forward of your right shin. So we've got about a few breaths, a minute or so to explore this. So by all means roll the back leg straight, stay up or roll down, but just check where your hips are at. How does that feel? Is there anything 
We need to make sure of is that there's no weight down through the edge of that knee. All the body weight is down through the center or maybe forward into your elbows or finding a way maybe to rest your head down. Without moving, is there anywhere here that you're still kind of holding any tiny muscles around the back or the jaw? As you slow your breath down, as you exhale, can you release? And then in your own time, ease your way back up. So we're gonna come back up, just bring that left knee in. And if you've got your cushion handy, you might wanna sit on it here. I'm just gonna switch sides, but to do that, we'll just come back to the center. So take your feet out. It doesn't have to be super wide, just as far as is comfortable. Really press through and bring your hands just to the side of your thigh muscles and just gently press in towards the knees. And then you can stay here or you can bring your hands forward for a gentle forward bend. We're going to do this twice, so maybe the first time kind of lift up, flex the feet and be a little bit more active. The second time we do it, we can be a bit more yin if you like. So the more you press through your heels, activate your thighs, the easier it is sometimes to come forward. It doesn't matter how far forward you go. Take a couple of breaths here, slowing the breath down now. And walking the hands back up. And we'll do a little back bend on the left side. So turning towards that left side, you can come straight to pigeon if you like, or we can come through that back bend with the left leg in front. So on your knees, hips just gently roll forward. At, at this point in the practice, you might find you've got a bit more space through the front of that right thigh. And the tailbone continues to drop down as the lower belly lifts up. And then again, maybe your back bend today is just to rest your hands at your lower back, rest your chin to the chest and let the hips sink to a place that feels comfortable. Or if you want to, you can make it more dynamic, lifting your arms up, exhaling to open, breathing in, breathing out. Again, stay with that pulse of your breath. And as you exhale, let something go. And then take the hands down. So really round the spine for a moment. Just let your back bend echo. And then walk your left foot across. And again, using cushions here if you need to, coming to sit down on that left hip. So zigzag is a really good option if you really hate coming into straightening that back leg, sleeping swan or king pigeon prep. You can just turn and stay upright or just start to walk your hands forward. And again, we've got about a minute to explore this. So as you come forward slowly, find a place where you can settle, where you can start to sink the weight down. And then that curiosity where your breath is moving your ribs. Again, for the last breath, is there anywhere else you can let go? Lean to the left as you come up slowly. If you want, you can come straight to Shavasana, or you can come into one last 
forward bend. If you prefer, you can take the legs together for a forward bend. Maybe just let this one be a little bit more yin where you inhale, lift. And then exhale, perhaps just let the tummy round, let the chest release, let the back of the neck soften. And perhaps just see in one round of breath how much you can relax. slowly coming up. So we're going to come into Shavasana and you might want to do any last little movements when you get your legs back together. You might want to roll your feet into the air or come into a little twist of the legs or if you have an inversion practice feel free to come into that and then start to come towards Shavasana. So if you've got any last little bits that you like to do, feel free. I'm going to give you a guided relaxation today just to allow again that complete release. So once you're really comfortable, maybe lying on your back or whatever position works for you. And then let the whole body soften. Come to a place where the only movement is your breathing. In yoga philosophy, we have practice, one of the guiding principles, which is recommended even before posture, even before we come onto our mat. This idea of a paragraha, of non-gripping, non-attachment. And when we attach to things in our mind, that can be cause of suffering. It might be past grievances, it might be managing expectations. But now as you completely relax on your mat, let your eyes soften, let your body rest. Let go with each exhale to holding yourself up. face relaxes, your throat and chest and shoulders sink down as you exhale. And your arms down to a softening in the palms of your hands and each of your fingers relax. And your tummy and hips Thigh muscles, let go. The knees soften the ankles, feet and the toes. Now as you allow yourself to float into stillness, Shavasana, You notice that each rise and fall of the breath is an opportunity to let go, to release, to relax.
we will just stay in Shavasana for a bit longer. Feel free if you need to just kind of reach out and turn the device off and go back to sleep. Or you can very slowly move your fingers and then maybe bring your hands back into your tummy and your heart. And back to that connection with your heart beating. And the feeling of the ground underneath you. And then whenever you feel ready, you can have a stretch out or you can hug your knees in and roll to your side. And you take your time, you might curl up there for a few moments. And whenever you're ready, slowly coming up to close the practice. So you can bring your hands together in front of you or resting on the heart centre. Just let your eyes be downcast or closed for a moment. So when we practice a paragraha or non-attachment, we, we set ourselves free. The Buddha teaches us the end of suffering is the cessation of craving, of grasping, of holding on to ideas, material things. We learn to release muscles and tension in the body. We take that awareness into all other aspects of our life. So thank you so much for joining me. Namaste everyone. Closing your practice however you wish.